Welcome to this training session on the installation procedure of LG compressors. At the end of this training session, you will understand the process of installation of LG compressors at your customer's site. It is important to follow safety procedures and use safety gear like goggles, helmets, gloves, and safety footwear. Ensure that you have worn these before attempting to install the compressor. There are 9 steps to be covered for a successful installation. First let us list the 9 steps in sequence. And then we will go through each of them in detail. A good understanding of these 9 steps is necessary, to ensure an efficient and successful installation. Handling. Location. Ventilation. Downstream accessories. Air piping arrangement. Electricals. Pre-commissioning checks. Operation demo. Sign off and handing over process. It is very important, that the compressor to be handled carefully while moving it to its location and placed gently. Lift the compressor using a forklift or a crane. While placing the compressor, do not attempt to move the compressor by pushing it, as this may cause jerky movements, damaging it. Don't use any hard lever to move the compressor. If you are using a crane, use a rope or belt with stiff spreader bar to distribute the load equally. Also, this will increase stability and decrease the load applied during hoisting. Avoid using an uneven length of rope or belt while lifting the compressor, to prevent rope or belt slings from damaging the compressor canopy. The location and environment where the compressor is to be installed impacts the performance. A compressor should never be installed in the open. Hence it is important to follow the guidelines that is specified in this section. Ensure compressor room entrance has sufficient space for compressor passage. Also make sure that the air compressor is installed in a clean and dust free room. Ensure the compressor base makes 100% contact directly with the floor. Ensure unevenness of the surface is within 6 mm per meter. If the floor is splashed frequently with water while cleaning, then place a compressor on a raised concrete plinth to 150 mm. Special foundation is not necessary for rotary screw compressors. Ensure that the compressor is protected from direct sunlight, hot air, flammable materials, toxic, volatile or corrosive agents, and rain. The compressor should not be directly exposed to water cooling tower, power genset and corrosive agents like ammonia, chlorine, salt spray and other chemicals, as these may erode the internal components and also contaminate the oil, and affect the filters. Proper ventilation is very important for a compressor to function efficiently. Let's understand various aspects related to ventilation while installing an LG compressor. The compressor room temperature should not be more than 5 degrees Celsius, 41 degrees Fahrenheit, from ambient. Ensure the compressor suction temperature is within 50 degrees Celsius, 122 degrees Fahrenheit. To start the compressor in cold weather, use the cold start kit, and maintain the oil temperature. Maintain the room temperature minimum 5 degrees Celsius, 41 degrees Fahrenheit, before attempting to start the compressor in cold weather. Ensure space around the compressor should be 1 meter, 3.28 feet, up to 75 kilowatt or below, 1.5 meters, 4.92 feet, for above 75 kilowatt models. 
Ensure space from compressor package top to ceiling is 2 meters, 6.56 feet, for all EPSAC models, oil flooded. The ventilation requirements could be achieved by the following methods. Natural ventilation, forced ventilation with exhaust fan, forced ventilation with ducts. Use the ducting calculator to calculate the ducting requirements. Proper installation is important for compressor downstream accessories like the filters, dryer, oil water separator as applicable. This module will walk you through the process of arrangement and installation of downstream accessories of the LG compressor. The commonly used downstream accessories fitted on the LG air compressors are the air receiver, particulate filter, air dryer, fine filter, carbon filter, and the oil water separator. It is important to ensure that the air receiver is of the recommended capacity. Use this chart check to ensure the same. Air inlet to the receiver should be at the bottom, and the outlet from the receiver should be on the top. The pipelines from compressor outlet to customer application point, should be flushed before assembling all the downstream filters, such as pre-filter, a fine filter, and carbon filter. Condensate drain provision with an auto drain system, should be provided for the air receiver, downstream filters, and dryers. All the drain points should be connected to drainage pit, or oil water separator or as per local compliance. Understanding the air piping arrangement at the delivery side is important. This section will walk you through the various factors that needs to be taken care of while selecting and installing the air pipeline. The internal diameter of the service line pipe should be at least the same as compressor outlet pipe or ball valve size if the pipe length is less than 100 meters 328 feet. Please refer the air delivery pipe reference chart as shown. Compressor air outlet should be connected on top of the common or main header pipe to avoid condensed water entry when the compressor is idle. Provide the bypass piping arrangement for dryer and downstream filters in case of isolation or emergency. Try to use long bends and reduce number of bends in the pipeline as much as possible to avoid pressure drop. Electrical connections with the right electrical components is very important. This section explains the electrical arrangement about the cable and the HRC fuse switch. Power should be supplied to the compressor through a dedicated power source. Suitable rating fuse switch mounted within 5 meters, 16.4 feet, from the compressor for easy access. Use a HRC fuse instead of an MCCB. Connect an earthing line from the air oil separator tank to the base frame, if the tank is mounted on an anti-vibration mount. Ensure that the earthing leak is greater than 0 volts and less than 2 volts. Ensure the compressor earthing line is connected to the main earthing line, which is connected to the earthing pit. Use suitable incoming power cable to avoid the possibility of failure. Use the incoming cable reference chart. Incoming cables should be crimped with correct size lugs, bolt, washers, and appropriately connected to incoming terminals. Before commissioning the system, it is mandatory to carry out a few important checks. Failure to do so might result in damage to the compressor and delay in handover. 
If the compressor you are installing is a water-cooled machine, ask for the feed water analysis report, and ensure the parameters are within the given limits. If this is a VFD machine, ensure the RPM setting is correct in the neuron controller for operating pressure. Check if the transport locking clamps are removed. Check if the separate earthing provided for separator tank, and the canopy. Check if you are able to rotate the air and by free hand. Check if the oil filled as per our recommendation level. Check if the hot air outlet or exhaust duct provided as per guideline. It is mandatory to give a demonstration of the compressor operation, and various other aspects to your customer before the handover. This module gives a brief checklist of the topics that is to be covered in the demonstration. Demonstrate the compressor operation. Explain the do's and don'ts clearly, and unambiguously. Explain about the neuron controller operation, warning, and fault codes. Explain the importance of maintenance schedule and about the daily, weekly, monthly preventive maintenance checks required. Explain the importance and advantages of genuine spares. Explain about applicable warranty and benefits of annual maintenance contract. Congratulations! You have successfully covered all the steps. Handing over and signing off is the last but the most important step, that needs to be accomplished. Here's a checklist of activities that need to be accomplished to complete the installation, and commissioning of the compressor. Hand over the compressor key to the customer. Hand over the product manual. Get the commissioning report signed off. Record the installation setup for future reference. Obtain the customer feedback on commissioning report. Congratulations on successful completion of the how to install an LG compressor training. We wish you good luck.